We'll be having an introduction to the bone marrow structure and function, and this will be our second video under the concept of what bone marrow structure hematology, all right? Which is a branch of hematology or a course or topic in hematology that is actually helping us actually look in depth uh, to what a bone marrow structure is, okay? So introduction to bone marrow structure and function. Introduction, all right? So this is what a bone marrow is. Basically, the function of the bone marrow, starting with the function, it houses the stem cells. And these stem cells are the ones that differentiate and mature into the various blood cells that we have. Okay, is it the red blood cells? Is it the white blood cells? Is it the lymphocytes? And the rest of them, okay? So all of them, they actually have their origin from the what? Hematopoietic stem cells. And these hematopoietic stem cells actually reside in the bone marrow okay so moving forward we tell that the bone marrow is the soft spongy and gelatinous tissue found within the central or the medullary cavities of the axial long bones okay it's in the central you understand outside the bone marrow we have the spongy bone outside the spongy bone we have the compact bone do you understand so the central of it is where we find the bone marrow so it is the major hematopoietic organ and a primary lymphoid tissue responsible for the production of erythrocytes, granulocytes, monocytes, lymphocytes, and platelets. Just name them. It's the structure of a long bone, right? The bone, bone marrow here. All right. Okay. No, that's not even the bone marrow. That's a spongy bone, right? It's a bone marrow, all right? So if you have a yellow bone marrow that's in adults, if you have a red bone marrow, you'll be fine. All right, so we're talking about functions of this. We said that the bone marrow is the spongy tissue inside the bones that plays a crucial role in the production of blood cells and immune system. It is responsible for what, first of all, hematopoiesis, that's production of red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets. Immune cell development and function too, right? storage of stem cells which can what differentiate into various cell types right that should be okay yeah you could just say storage of stem cells right yeah yeah, yeah. this is another point right hematopoiesis itself hematopoiesis itself and and storage of the stem cells right that's two different points then also filtration of blood and removal of old and damaged red blood cells right that's the function of the reticular endothelial system then we have storage of nutrients and energy reserve. Then what is the structure of this bone marrow? For the red bone marrow, it is found in spongy bones like of the hips, thigh bones, and vertebrae. That's in adults. Okay. Then um, in children, that's in infants that are below uh, one year of age, it is found in all the bones. Okay. Then for the yellow bone marrow, it is found in hollow shaft of long bones and they contain more fats. Okay. Then bone marrow cavities, they contain a network of vessels and stroma cells, trabeculae. They are thin plates of bones that what? Separate bone marrow cavities. Okay? Trabeculae is basically like um, holes. Okay? Holes that will be found in the bone marrow cavities. Okay? So what are the functions again? Production of blood, immune cell development and function, storage of stem cells, filtration of blood, and destruction of old or damaged blood cells, then storage of nutrients and what energy reserves. Okay. So what are the different cells that are actually present in the bone marrow? We have hematopoietic stem cells, we have immature blood cells as the precursors, we have the mature blood cells as red, red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets. We have stroma cells as the mesenchymal stem cells, osteoblasts, endothelial cells, and basically their function is to uh, secrete growth factors, adhesion molecules, right? And these factors will help the process of hematopoiesis to be going on as it should, okay? And also, we have macrophages and other immune systems, right? Immune cells, right? They are also present in the bone marrow. Right. So understanding bone marrow structure and function is essential for understanding what various blood disorders, all right, and also immune system diseases, as well as was developing treatments for these conditions, right? So 
for you to actually know the abnormal you should know the normal okay so guys that's it about uh this introduction to bone marrow structure and functions of bone marrow okay so that's it bye